Hey guys, it's Bobcat Soup here. Welcome back to the series States to Monsters, where we take a US state and we turn it into a monster using its state symbols. Uh, this week, we're going to be doing Tennessee uh, based off of a comment where someone requested it. It's going to be right up here, the comment. So let's get right into it and see what Tennessee's state symbols are. And remember, if you want your state, since this channel is so small right now, there is a very, very good chance that I will do the state that you want if you just comment it down below. All right, so I'm here at the state symbols of Tennessee. Uh, the state animal is a raccoon. I'm probably going to use that because, I mean, who doesn't love raccoons? Um, I've seen a couple other states that had uh, salamanders as their state amphibians, and I thought about using them because uh, I really like salamanders, uh, but I, I opted to not do that. Maybe I should for this one. I might end up using the Tennessee Cave Salamander. Another one for state airplane. I feel like Indiana also had a state airplane. I, I don't know. Um, I like to think that I'm pretty creative, but could I really fit an airplane into a creature design? I don't know. So I'm not really sure about that. Um, the state artifact is Sandy. I'm gonna have to look up what that is. It looks interesting. I don't know what exactly that's supposed to be. A weird elderly man kneeling. The state beverage is milk. It's interesting. <laughs> Bob White Quail, state bird two. Mockingbird, state bird one. Blue Tick Coonhound, state dog. Smallmouth bass, state fish. I'll have to look up what that is too, the state fossil. I don't know what that is. There's pearl, it's the state gem, which sounds like it'd be cool to use. State walking, uh, state horse is the Tennessee walking horse. Already used a ladybug, a firefly, and a honeybee, but who knows. I haven't used a butterfly for one. You could also use a zebra swallowtail butterfly. Agate is very cool for the state mineral. Eastern box turtle for the state reptile. The channel catfish uh, is the state fish, uh, the first state fish. Could be very interesting to use uh, since of course, you know, they have the whiskers, which like some sort of raccoon creature with whiskers would be pretty cute, I think. Okay, we'll look into creating a list in Photoshop out of all, uh, or I guess whatever one of these I decide are the coolest, and we will see. Let's get into it. And real quick, forgot to mention that Tennessee's state flower is the passion flower, uh, and it has amazing colors that I think I'm going to end up using on this. So even though I wasn't uh, quite sure how I was actually going to use them, I narrowed down my list of things that I wanted to use to uh, the catfish, uh, pearl, uh, passion flower, raccoon, the state butterfly, and the state salamander. Uh, with the salamander, mostly what won me over was that it has the little uh, kind of frill things like axolotls do. And uh, I gotta be honest, I love axolotls, so I knew I had to use uh, uh, these things. So. So after some sketching, uh, what I ended up coming up with was using the raccoon as a base, um, having the whiskers of the catfish and some, I think there's like a fin on that, the head, um, the frills of the salamander as, along with the tail of the salamander, um, the pearls are just kind of scattered across the body, and then the wings of the butterfly, and it wasn't really intentional, but we ended up with like a it kind of looks like some sort of pixie or fairy kind of thing. Uh, it wasn't really in intentional, uh, but that's kind of what we ended up with. So it's kind of cool. Um, this is definitely the cutest little guy that I've made. This is the only monster I think that I've, I've made so far that I've, I'd actually want to see in real life, I think. So I think on top of, of course, the pearls and the wings, uh, I think what really, really kind of made this look very fairy-like is the fact that I actually uh, 
just took the eyedropper tool and took the uh, colors directly off of the passion flower. So you have a lot of these very soft shades of uh, green and uh, you have some like lavender on it, which really makes it look like some sort of little fairy that flies over uh, Tennessee rivers doing <laughs> fairy things, I don't know. Uh, this was one thing that I was struggling with, was actually trying to capture the pattern of that specific uh, type of butterfly. I already forgot its name. The zebra tail, something like that. The zebra long tail, something like that. But just trying to capture the actual pattern that's on its wings uh, was pretty hard for me. Um, but I, th I think I got the point across and I used some of those fun uh, passion flower colors on the butterfly wings, which is a cool combination in my opinion. Now onto the shading. Um, it's always very satisfying to, to shade. I think I've said that in previous episodes of the series, but something about this little guy, I don't know if it's just his really pleasant color palette uh, and design, but he was like extra satisfying to shade. I don't really know why. I just really enjoyed shading this one. It just felt very nice to do. I don't. I don't really know why. He's just. He's a. He's a pleasant guy. I think he might be one of my, my my favorite guys actually. I just. I like him. He's cute and nice and a gentleman. And of course, even though I could always just put the actual flag of the state as a background, which would be so much easier, I always like to torch myself by trying to make a custom background for these where it's a little bit of an environment. Uh, even if they don't turn out good, I figure I can use the practice doing uh, scenery like that. And I really struggled on what to do for this one's background, but since it gave such like river fairy, river spirit kind of vibe, um, I decided to do like kind of uh, this river with uh, reeds uh, kind of all around it and just have him kind of flying over it. Uh, yeah, so I think that was the, the best decision uh, for a background on this thing. Like I said, since he was giving fairy vibes, he was coming off as very magical. And so last second, I just slapped on this glowing orb effect. And say it with me, it's time for the reveal. Let me know what you guys think of this creature down in the comments below uh there's some stuff that i wanted to include like country music of course which uh tennessee is very famous for with uh you know nashville being there but you know we could probably fit it into like the lore of this creature like maybe this guy appears to very talented people and uh you know kind of gives them good luck on their performances which would obviously include country uh singers but um even with some stuff that I wasn't able to incorporate into this, the design, I'm still very pleased with this guy. I think he's probably the cutest one <laughs> that I've made. And like I said before, I think this is the only monster that I've made so far that I would actually uh, want to see in real life. So yeah, be sure to subscribe, like the video, 
uh, share it around with fr friends, I can speak English, and I'll see you in the next video.